good of being able to play uh, this week at full strength? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. Um, you know, after that game seven, a um, little sore yesterday and still, you know, tight in there. I mean, I got, I got drilled, so didn't feel good by any means, but uh, I'm definitely good enough to go. I don't, I don't think there's going to be any cause or concern moving forward. I, I hope not, but um, I definitely have progressed as each day has gone by. So I hope that continues to, uh, you know, keep going that way. And I don't think it should be an issue whatsoever. Gotcha. And you, you've talked about it eloquently several times. We've asked you about getting to the series, getting to the series. If you look behind you and the stuff on your uniforms and caps, it says World Series. What, what is it feeling like? What does it mean? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, starting to settle in a little bit now and trying to, um, you know, really appreciate this moment, um, the calm before the storm type of thing. You know, we just arrived to the field for the first time. So, um, this is what it's all about. This is what you play for opportunities like this. And, uh, you know, we got a, a group of, or, a, you know, a bunch of excited group of guys in there, um, excited to try to take advantage of a huge opportunity that's, uh, presented itself to us. And, uh, we've worked for this opportunity and, and once again, we, um, we want to finish this the right way, our way. And, uh, We'll see if we're capable of doing that, but we're very confident we're ready to go. Take the next one from Juan. Hey, Kevin. Obviously, you guys haven't seen the Dodgers this year, but what are kind of the challenges that that team presents? They do it all. They do everything. They pitch, they hit, a um, ton of athleticism where they can beat you on the bases as well. Uh, they have about as, as good as a roster in baseball um, as they're, you know, as there is, and uh, their record their record speaks for itself. They've been here, done that type of thing. They're you know seems like they're in the World Series every every year, every other year. Um, they know how to win over there. They they um, they do. They have a great uh, you know young core group of guys, and they have a lot of veteran leadership as well. Um, some really good players who've been around for a long time who who know what they're doing, obviously. So. Um, we're definitely going to have to bring our A game throughout the course of this series, and but we know we're a really good team as well, and we're dangerous. So, you know, two one seeds facing each other. This is, uh, you know, how you script it up to what you want to see in the World Series, and um, this is uh, it's going to be a heck of a battle. I know that, and, and I know we're all looking forward to it. Kevin, obviously what Randy is doing is pretty historic, but even before this, was there a specific moment that you kind of saw something out of him that you were like, okay, this, this kid's actually really good? Uh, yeah, so, you know, I guess uh, what he did throughout several games, I remember there was one game where he went, well, I know he's, he's went to the right center gap, but there was one game this year early, I feel like it was a Sunday home game, I don't know. I feel like he had the baby blue jersey on, just went super deep the other way. And then, you know, just a little guy like that, you don't you don't see electricity in a bat like that for, you know, a guy his size too much, I guess you could say. And what he does in batting practice, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of people who can put on shows, but he, um, I don't know, he's very intriguing. It's so hard to sit here and, and you know, what label to put on him, but he'll sit here and, um, you know, sit here and just pepper balls the other way and out of nowhere, hit a ball up on the building in San Diego in batting practice, just like it's just easy. And the game seems to be easy for Randy right now. And we can, we hope that that continues, but what he's done has been absolutely incredible. Um, he's the man, everyone loves him. He's one of a kind. And, uh, you know, he's, made a name for himself, what, what he's done this postseason so far, and he's going to be around the game for a long time doing special things. Let's take the next one from Mark Carey. Kevin, you've been there a long time, and I think when people look at your team that don't, that don't see him every day, it's easy to say, well, they're really data-driven and analytics-driven, but clearly it's more than that. And I was just wondering from your view, what is it that the organization seems to do so well that you guys are consistently doing well? They, uh, you know, our organization definitely has a formula um, that they compute somehow, some way to know what they're looking for when they're trying to acquire talent, um, you know, through trades and, and obviously 
you know, who we choose uh, in the draft year after year and, you know, developing those guys. But um, I don't know. It, it's hard to put a finger on, on all the things that, you know, our, our, our front office has done in, in acquiring some of these guys. Uh, obviously, you know, there's so many uh, – so much data out there that we can – can analyze players on, on a piece of paper, but, um, you know, also the eye test as well. And, you know, it, it's hard to go against with, with what we're doing and, and the, you know, the roster that our front office has created. Uh, it, it's truly incredible. I mean, seriously. And you never thought that, um, you know, I mean, you think about a guy like Randy Rosarena, he wasn't with us the whole year, had COVID the whole time. And then, you know, finally gets an opportunity. And, uh, you know, obviously he's the name that, that sticks out more than anyone, uh, a very recent trade uh, happening within the last year. But it's one of those things that they've been right time and time again. And the majority of our roster has, uh, you know, come from different organizations over the years. But um, that's the business side of the game. And that's what makes this game so beautiful. You never know who you're going to take that field with. And we really – like uh, the talent we had the last couple of years and we really, you know, made some nice additions and that's where our roster is what it is right now. We're dangerous. We know that. And uh, you know, it's a beautiful thing to have talent all over throughout the whole clubhouse. Thank you. We'll go to Gabe Lackis. Uh, hey, Kevin, uh, you guys have had so much turnover from year to year. And even if you look at like a three year cycle uh, yet, it also seems like you're, the camaraderie is so high and you guys connect really well. Uh, how does that happen when, when the phase has changed so much and, and how do you guys just sort of continue to, to kind of bond, I guess, when, when the cast is changing with some regularity? Yeah, there was a, you know, there was a certain, that it was the same environment um, when I, when I showed up and uh, you know, I'm the longest tenured player here and, and uh, you know, Kevin Cash was with me, um, started 2015 and, uh, you know, he creates that as well. He's making all the rules, what we wear on the road and, um, you know, road trips, certain things like that, how we operate in the clubhouse, what's allowed, what's not allowed. And we just have had the um, environment where it's, hey, show up to the field each and every day, be a professional, be yourself, do what you need to do as long as you go out there and handle yourself each and every night out there on the field, we don't really care what you do, but don't cross that line or abuse what we got going on because it's a really good thing. And guys come over here and say that, uh, you know, the environment, everything we do, um, you know, in the clubhouse, uh, you know, behind closed doors, it, it it's incredible to be a part of. And, and uh, you know, I got to thank the, the players that were here before me because this is all I know. And then I just wanted to do my part along with other guys who've come uh, to the organization over the years to, to maintain that. And, you know, those, those little things like that go a long way for a clubhouse. And, and uh, you know, we have so much fun and, and we enjoy being at the field with each other each and every day. And, um, you know, we go out there on the field too. And, and nothing changes from the clubhouse out on the field. We just – we vibe really well out there with each other. And that's all I just say. It's just such a joy to be a part of. And, um, you know, it, it's um, a work atmosphere that, that cannot be replaced. I, I promise you that. And, and it's, it's, uh, it's truly incredible to be a part of it. It really is. Thanks, man. All right. With apologies to everyone who still has questions, we have to move KK along. We'll have uh, Austin Meadows in here next. Thank you.